I'm Clay Carlino, and I do stuff. And tonight, I'm going to be playing Star Wars on my main cabinet. But before I do, I'm going to show you how you can make it work on RetroPie. Cue the royalty-free music that sounds absolutely nothing like the Star Wars theme. This is my main cabinet, which I spent a lot of time rebuilding last year, and it seems like I've been spending a lot of time lately just getting it to work the way that I wanted it to. One of the things that I really wanted to be able to do with this cabinet was play Star Wars, the old vector game. It was always one of my favorites. One of the problems is that a lot of the later versions of MAME don't just automatically support use of the trackball. Of course, an obvious solution is to get the Star Wars 1-Up Arcade Cabinet, which is amazing, and I did that. But it doesn't mean that I don't still want to be able to play it on my main cabinet as well. One of the reasons why it's so difficult to emulate is because it uses these analog controls, which are really, really difficult to replicate with just a regular joystick. One way to get around that is to use a trackball instead, which gives you great analog control for the game. Unfortunately, a lot of the later versions of MAME don't readily support use of the trackball. Now MAME 2003 does readily support using the trackball for control, but the ROMs for Star Wars have a bug in them that don't let you actually play the game. So if you want to play Star Wars using a trackball in RetroPie, you're going to need to use MAME 2010, which I have right here. I should mention that even with MAME 2003 installed, I still had to do a lot of futzing to get the trackball to work thanks to some updates. But I have that on video, and if it's not posted already, it will be soon. So I've got Star Wars installed, and it actually works. I can go in, it loads up with no problem, and boom, there it is. Except notice something, it's really, really dark. You can barely see anything. Now I scoured the internet, and amazingly enough, I could not find any good solutions to this problem. Maybe they're out there. I am kind of bad at finding stuff that I want on the internet. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you how I solved this problem. People familiar with MAME will remember that you can usually enter the MAME settings menu just by pressing the tab button on an attached keyboard. That brings this up. I found the solution to my problem in kind of an unexpected place. It's actually under the slider controls. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You would think that it's under video, but it's not. It's under slider controls. So I go there, and then I hit the button, and then I go down here, and I'm just using my down button. I can also use the joystick, but for this, I can easily use the down button on my keyboard. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the beam width. So that, I use my joystick and you can see that I can turn up the beam width. And already, that's making a huge difference. You can actually see the letters. But I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm also going to go up and I'm going to increase my screen gamma. 1.4, and I'm going to increase my contrast a little bit too. There. That's looking nice. Yeah, there we go. And then I just go back down to return to prior menu, hit enter, return to game and look at that that looks awesome hey I can see myself in the screen hi me
We are now playing Star Wars. It looks great, it feels great. I'm a Jedi Master. So that's it. That's how to get Star Wars to work on your main cabinet using RetroPie and have it look great. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave.